Hello friends, it's me, Shinamin Koder. This is the fourth chapter in the Java multi-threading video tutorial series. And in the last video, we saw how to create simple threads by implementing Runnable. In this chapter, we will see another method. It is not actually so much different in terms uh, in terms of its working but it is another way of creating threads i think it is more simple than the previous method so uh, previously we implemented these three classes with runnable and then in order to uh, run it as a different thread we create another thread we pass this runnable as a runnable, pass this runnable object through the constructor, we set the name and then we did all those kind of things. So we are going to simplify it in this chapter, okay? So I'm let me just take this to another chapter. So, so far so good, I think. So this is where we stopped last time, right? Yeah, we implemented them for the runnable. So uh, the second method is extending the a class that we want to run as a different thread with a thread instead of runnable so here we implemented it with runnable instead we can extend that class with a thread so let me show you why we will do that if you look at the thread the source code of the thread you can see that the thread class itself is implementing a runnable so if we extend this thread it will automatically implement the runnable interface right because that is how the inheritance goes so the java thread test instead of implementing it let me just extend it with a thread so now i have it extended with thread i no longer have to pass this java thread test runnable to my thread class so let me show this to you so instead of doing that i can simply create one thread and this dh.set name that i can set in the constructor of the thread so because the thing is it is extending thread and all the methods inside thread will automatically be available to me so java thread test this is my simple constructor and instead of setting this th.set name i can call that from my constructor so set name method is available so i'm going to set this as set name so i don't want to use any variable name because i am calling the method of the parent so set name java thread so now uh, i don't have the runnable there is only one uh, there is just thread creation and starting so i can even simplify this with the new java thread test dot start so what we what it will do is it will call this one the, from the constructor we will set the name of the thread and then it will automatically call this run method so i hope you remember the point when you call this start method internally this run method of the uh, runnable interface will be called so thread implements a runnable interface so when you call this start method this run method will automatically be called so again simplifying here instead of implementing an interface i am going to extend it with thread okay now i have to set the thread name so i need my constructor so this is the constructor and what was the name we gave we gave java fx thread so we need this much code so going to java fx thread test and set name thread okay then coming back to the code i don't want this much of that i just need new java fx thread test dot start so let me just remove this dot start okay so i'm leaving this like this because i want to show you that this is equivalent to doing this okay so what we have done here is exactly equivalent to this in the functionality wise but in the code wise this is much more better since now let us just run the program single thread so as you can see the first thread started second thread started and the thread third thread started 
and they ended just like before so in this chapter we learned that creating threads uh, we can create threads in two different ways and this is equivalent to this method and this is one another option we have so as always thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it and we'll, i'll see you in the next chapter